Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. League 2, a couple of games got postponed this previous weekend due to international call-ups. I'm a bit surprised that games this low actually do get called off. Um, there's no disrespect to the players that have been called up for the international level. I just find it a bit surprising, that's all. Um, but anyway, games did, still did go ahead and um, talk about the results and obviously the game that got called off as well. But guys, anyway, you know what I'm trying to do, try to get to a thousand subs. Come mate, the best way you can help me do this is by sharing my videos, letting people know about my channel. And if you're not noticed already, um, if you're under the age of 18, I do apologise and um, you won't be allowed to hear it. But for you that are over the age of 18, I have started playing Call of Duty. There'll be a lot more Call of Duty videos um, on this channel as well. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff to come. And plus our busy Christmas period, as always, football is. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I do. So you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Carlisle versus Cambridge. Carlisle... Losing 2-1 away to Port Vale. No real big surprise, if I'm all honest. I know Port Vale have been playing, you know, recently well over the past couple of weeks. Cambridge losing 2-1 away to Walsall. Now, that does surprise me just a little bit because of how well Cambridge have been doing. Um, more, I'd be more probably disappointed if I was on the Cambridge end as well. So, um, but anyway, great three points. Um, no, not great three points. Sorry for neither of these. I've gone into a pointless uh, weekend from the previous weekend. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Cheltenham Town versus Colchester. Colchester um, game postponed international call ups. Um, that was one of the games that was postponed. Cheltenham, however, did go ahead. 0 um, 0 uh, uh, away to Exeter. Great point for Cheltenham. Um, You know, as I said, the Colchester game was postponed. Um, so the only game I could talk about is that Cheltenham game. Great point for Cheltenham. Um, you know, how much... If you're a Cheltenham fan, please feel free to put in the comments down below how did you think that game went. Um, did you go to the game if you did? You know, um, tell me what you deserve. Um, do you deserve the point? Do you deserve all three? Or do you think Exeter should have nicked that one? Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for another one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Crawley Town versus Exeter. Crawley Town 1 1 at home to Morecambe. I'll speak more about that in a minute. Um, Exeter, as I've just mentioned, 0 0. At home to Chowton. Um I remember Crawley going one nil up in that Morecambe game. I remember looking at my phone, um, you know, sort of thinking, "Well, okay, Crawley might have had this game." No disrespect to Morecambe, but great point for Morecambe. Um, Exeter, probably a bit disappointed if I'm an Exeter City point uh, fan. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Exeter City win. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Morecambe. Just as we mentioned Morecambe, 1-1 um, away to Coventry. Great point for um, Morecambe. Uh, Crew, on the other hand, loses 4-1 away to Northampton Town. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's not a misprint from a crew Alexandra point of view. Um, but 
I think Northampton Town have broken up in the past month or two. Um, you know, and obviously I'll speak more about that on Northampton Town end when I get down to it. Morecambe, great point. Um, probably a bit disappointed with Crawley. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Crew Alexander win. My next one is Lake Norian versus Forest Green. Um, Forest Green loses 1 0 at home to Plymouth for goal. Obviously, Plymouth had a bye week um, the previous game because of their stadium damage. Um, Lake Norian losing 2 0 at home to Scunthorpe. Disappointing day for Lake Norian. Disappointing day for Forest Green. Both teams got to move on and, you know, serve the fans. Um, but I probably expected a bit more at Lake Norian. Didn't happen. Probably expected a bit more at Forest Green as well. Didn't happen. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Newport County versus Oldham. Newport County game postponed international call up. Same with Oldham international call ups. No team have played this previous weekend. I just mentioned why. Um, nothing I could do, so it gives you the result for this one. And I've gone for a 2 0 Newport win. My next one is Northampton Town versus Grimsby. Northampton Town, 4 1 winners at home to Crew Alexandra. Um, and the Grimsby game got called off. Juice Play Newport. Let's, because it's the only thing I could do. Um, let's talk about that new, uh, not Newport, Northampton Town game um, from a Northampton Town perspective. I think they're sitting ninth in the league at the minute. Um, go back August, September, they were right down in the relegation zone. Let's come forward to now and look at our, I think they're ninth place, maybe even a bit higher, can't quite remember. But anyway, if you're a Northampton Town fan, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but a 4 1 win over Crew Alexandra. What a win for Northampton Town. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Northampton Town win. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Bradford. Bradford game got called off international call ups. Plymouth Argyle beat Forest Green 1 0 away from home. Great three points for Plymouth. I know Plymouth. You know what? If you're a Plymouth fan, what are your expectations of your club this season? Um, you know, as always, feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but great three points for them. Bradford didn't play. The result I've gone for for this game is a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Salford City versus Macclesfield. Macclesfield 0-0 at home to Mansfield. Uh, Salford City lost 3-2 at home to Swindon Town. Right, um, just while I'm on the verge of it, I have been aware of Macclesfield problems. The reason I don't bring it up as much as I did a few of them in my League One uh, ones, is I don't think the EFL, touch wood that I don't, I don't think the EFL will take action this season because of how far we've gone. Otherwise, all in three points that uh, Macclesfield have picked up, um, you know, will have to go to the other teams. I can't see the EFL doing that. That's why I haven't brought it up, but yes, I am aware of it. Um, thanks. Uh, for you for letting me know. Um, you know, great point for Macclesfield. Uh, only disappointing thing was they're at home. Salford City, I think they went 2 0 up, 2 2 0, 2 1, something like that, and then losing it to Swindon Town. Uh, you know, good, um, good um, week 
from Macros through going into this week. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Salford City win. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Port Vale. Scunthorpe winning 2 0 away from home against St. Norian. Um, Paul Fowl beating Carlisle 2-1. Great three points for both clubs. Um, I can't say nothing more, so I'm just going to give you the result. And I've gone for a 1-0 Paul Fowl win. My next one is Swindon Town versus Mansfield. Mansfield 0-0 away to Macclesfield. Swindon Town beating Salford City 3 2 away from home. Great three points for Swindon Town. Um, you know, sitting, uh, I think they're top. Um, I, I do try and remember where every team's placed, but unfortunately, I do forget. Um, but sitting top of the table, I can't. Until we played this Christmas period, I really can't say where this, what team's going to finish where. Um, going into the Christmas period, we will look at the league table and then we will look at it um, come the end, uh, at the end of the Christmas period, just so you can see how much the league table has changed. Um, but great three points for Swindon Town. Um, Mansfield being away from home, probably a great point for them too. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Swindon Town win. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Stevenage. Walsall beating Cambridge United 2 1 at home. Stevenage game postponed international call ups. Right, so I can only talk about Walsall game really. Um, great three points for Walsall. This point day for Cambridge. Just going to give you the result for this one. And I'll go for a 2 1 Walsall win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.